It is 4.30 in the morning and we woke up to rain. It is raining. So luckily we were already pretty much packed up and ready to go. So packed up our shit, record speed, and we're getting the fuck out of here. We're gonna go hang out at high ground. We just dropped off our bags at the uh, bag drop off for them to be shuttled up into the canyon. It did stop raining, which is good, but we are at higher ground. Um, so we're going to keep going up to the town. Um, um, yeah, I don't know figure it out from there, I guess. That's where the helicopter pad is, so. All right, it is 5.40 a.m. We just hiked the two miles to the village. I think it's done raining, but we're about to enter the village and we can't film in here, so we'll catch you guys once we exit the village. Hey, okay, so. We are out of the village. It is 6.10 a.m. and we are at mile three. The sun is gonna come up in probably 30 minutes. The sky still looks really cloudy, but there's no rain. So there was no one in the village. Everything was boarded up and we didn't see anybody. Played with some res dogs though, that, that was cute. But yeah, no one's awake in the village and we don't know how long it'll be until people are up. So we didn't really want to like hang around for answers. So it does kind of look like the sky start trying to clear up a little. And we checked the radar where we had service and it didn't say heavy rain said mostly cloudy with some light rain so I think we're gonna keep going and we're kind of like trailing behind a big group of like 10 people so yeah I'll check in with you at mile four which is probably about where the slot canyon begins again so that's pretty much the area where the for the most concerned about in terms of rain so yeah, it is 6.40, we are at mile four. It did start raining again, but it's like sprinkling. And we are kind of out of the Supai area and we're entering the canyon. It's kind of like weighing our options here. But yeah, there, I don't know, the sky looks pretty dark ahead, which is not super comforting but yeah I don't know I think we're just gonna keep going we're gonna keep our eyes open for higher ground as we go and yeah we have our satellite connected if we do need anything so yeah we'll check in at mile five I don't think so oh why does he like you so much? He likes me. He's handsome. Alright, this is mile five. The sky cleared up. Stopped raining. Which is great. Two Supai tribe members rode past us on horses with their dog, which is a good sign as well in the slot now. And uh, one more mile till we're halfway. We're at mile six. 
We're officially halfway out of the Grand Canyon. Stopping for our first, uh, hold on, let me set these down. Stopping for our first major snack break. I'm having some mango chili turkey. We had a bunch of trail mix, but some animals got into it last night and ate it. It was like the only thing we didn't put in our bear vault last night because we had it in our bag, like ready to go for the morning. So, that kind of sucks. But, we have some protein bars and stuff, so it's fine. And yeah, excited to be halfway done. Mile seven, we've gained a thousand feet in elevation. It is 8.30 a.m. now. And yeah, the slot canyon is like opening up a little bit. It's not as like steamy. It did, or no, it is sprinkling. Is it still sprinkling? Yeah, it's sprinkling again, but nothing serious. So I'm not too worried about it. See you, Molly. Mile eight. Stopping to take a little snack. There are a helicopter coming, which is interesting because the helicopters aren't supposed to be running today. So I wonder what that's all about. Anyway, stopping for a snack break to uh, get us through these next four miles. It's definitely opened up a lot, as you can see down here. Which is great. Um, yeah, some water and some snacks. Nine miles. We just got to the sign that says to Hilltop, which is a good sign. And it's starting to go uphill drastically, which is also a really good sign because that's kind of what it does at the end. Yeah, my knee hurts really fucking bad, but it's only one knee, so that's better than both of them, like it was on the way down. Honestly. <laughs> um, it's just part of the game. But, yeah. Nine miles. We're a lot closer to the top than we are our way from it, so. <laughs> it's starting to get uphill. Ten miles. We have made it to the switchbacks. We can see Hilltop, we can see the helicopter pad up there. We're about a mile away now. It was, I thought it was 12, maybe it's 11 miles. Yeah, maybe 11. It was like 12 on the way down and somehow 11. Was either one or two to that, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, mileage is a little unclear, but um, stretch. yeah, we definitely only have like a mile left of these switchbacks here. And uh, I think our bags just passed us, so they should be waiting for us. Yay! <laughs> yeah. We are in the parking lot, the ladies and gentlemen. We made it! 25,000 steps. 25,000 steps. For Griffith's watch says. Ooh. Wow, that last mile was tough. It was very uphill. But my knee stuck through. Got me there. That's all I can really ask for. We're gonna load our day packs into the car here and go get our packs. How you feel? Uh, Alright. You excited to be back? 
Me too. You feel accomplished? We just hiked out of the whole entire yeah. Grand Canyon. What time is it? Eleven forty-five. No, no, ten forty-five. Ten forty-five. Here right around eleven. That was my prediction. So it took us from about five a.m. to ten forty-five. That's not terrible. What is that? Five and a half hours. Yeah. That's really not that I bad. I want to make a bet. Was, eleven miles, uh, five and a half hours. They started our pace early on. I have a feeling we get here between ten thirty and eleven. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna go get our bags and then we'll check in once we get settled into the car. Back in the car, eating some protein cheese balls. <sighs> we fucking did that. Damn. <laughs> that was insane. That would have sucked if we had our full tank. Mm hmm. Yeah. We're feeling really grateful that we got our pack shuttled up. Because we didn't do that on the way down. And that was like, you know, that was really tough. But the way up with packs would have been really, really, really hard. Like, it was really hard with day packs. So, shuttle system was definitely a godsend. It was expensive. But, like, it was worth it. Whew. All right, well. make our way back to civilization and go get ourselves a fat meal and then figure out the best route back home and what hotel we're gonna stay at tonight so so it's definitely the hardest thing I've ever done but it was also the coolest thing I've ever done so all in all very worth it <clears throat> but definitely don't underestimate <laughs> the Grand Canyon. Um, but it's definitely like the most amazing thing ever. Like the waterfalls are one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. That hike down to Mooney is definitely the coolest thing we've done. Like that was insane. So I just did the math. And total for Hiking in to camp, out to camp, hiking to Mooney Falls and to Havasu, everything for two days, well, technically three days, three days, was 28 miles of hiking. So, just so you know, it's about 24, just, you know, hiking to the camps and back, but if you're gonna do any of the waterfalls while you're down there, and we only did Mooney and Havasu. A lot of people do um, Beaver Falls too, which I think is another, would be another four miles. But we didn't do Beaver because my knee was still acting up and I just didn't think I had another four miles in me yesterday after doing Mooney. And not only is it like another four miles of hiking, but it's like um, three more sets of those like ladders that we did I, it was just I couldn't do that yesterday because when I did research for this um, everyone kind of says different things when it comes to mileage but like, everything I read online said it was like 10 miles from the helicopter pad to the campsites but it was definitely more like at least 11 and a half if not 12 so yeah mileage update. I think we decided that we're gonna go back to the hotel that we stayed at before all of this to eat at their restaurant because they make pizzas like entire pizzas and milkshakes and that sounds really good to us right now so that's where we're headed.
if there were any fucks to give, they're gone. They left. I left them at the bottom of the fucking Grand Canyon. We just left the restaurant. We got a gigantic fucking pizza. Smashed half of it, the other half of it's in the cooler. <clears throat> um, I got some fried pickles, smashed those. It was glorious. Got to like wash my hands, wash my face. And yeah, now we are on the road. Our goal is to make it to Santa Fe and try to stay there tonight. But we'll see. We didn't we haven't booked a hotel yet, so we'll just see where we end up. But I'm very comfy cozy right now. I might fall asleep, honestly. <laughs>